everybody, it's Jocelyn here. Welcome back to my channel. And this channel is for all things Bring Back Paper. If you're new to Bring Back Paper, there's links below for you. Check out the hashtag, it's a whole thing. Uh, there's an Etsy store, there's a free Bring Back Paper Facebook group. There are um, tons and tons of blogs and inspiration and printables um, on the blog. There's also activities that I run monthly on the blog. Um, if you sign up to the newsletter, you'll miss nothing. So if you have come here because you like papery things, sign up to our newsletter in the link below, you'll get it all. Um, and of course, click that subscribe button for papery uploads every Wednesday. Right, today I'm doing an incoming mail video, which you could probably guess. Look at it. Uh, I've had some lovely mail over the last few weeks, over the Christmas period. Um, and so I wanted to show you what I've had from you guys. It's all come from you all come from Bring Back Paper people. Uh, so I'm gonna jump in and show you what it is that I've received. And there's been quite a lot of beautiful things, quite a variety. So the first thing here, and I'll show you, oh, the, my mailing address as well, I'll pop it below for you, but the mailing address is on, you'll see on all these envelopes, but I'll pop it below for you too, if you want to send me stuff. So if I can just, if I put this here, hang on a second. If I can just move these out of the way. So this, for Mina Gallo, she um, uh, regularly joins in with Bring Back Paper Activities, has done for quite some time now. Uh, and she has taken the time to send me these beautiful things in this package. So if I show you, I mean, look how cute this is. I love it. Um, all the stickers on the back, and then I do like the extra touch. I never use these, you know. I'm, it has made me think um, that I need to get some, though, because I really like it. I love the way it's all been decorated. And in here, I have... Whoop, look at this! A Winter Wonderland card. There you go. A nice Happy Holidays message there. Um, for Mina and her family, it's gorgeous. And one, we put it back. I like to keep that in there because I thought it was really, really sweet. And it did make me think, oh, should I get some of these clasps? So thank you for taking the time to think of me over the holidays, Mina, and to send me this through. It is hugely appreciated. And then she also sent me in this envelope. Let me get these things out. I'm a bit glittery. So look, all these, so I can create my own Winter Wonderland kind of themed cards. And there's other little things in here, like these. Bits of paper that I can use. Hang on, let me just... I mean, there's loads, guys. There's loads. I have been spoiled. It's cute little tag. I really like that. Uh, cute little tag. Cute little cutouts look that I can use. I will absolutely be using these uh, in my mail. These are like tags, but they could also be bookmarks. You know, you must know by now, if you've seen my videos before, everything is a bookmark in my head. I just see it and think, oh, bookmark. Um, but um, there's, a, there's loads of things I could use it for. I like that piece of paper. A paper clip, more cutouts. Look at these. Aren't they cute? So yeah, I had this bag full of delights been absolutely spoiled and then now you need to be impressed with me because i thought what i would do because being put in the card there i don't know if you saw i uh, wanted to send you my favorite book look i haven't opened it i've been really curious as to know what this is but i thought well, no because it's wrapped up so prettily i'm going to open this with you guys on camera but I really do want to know. I mean, you know I love a book. Love a book. So I'm going in. I'm going to find out what this book is. What is it? Oh my gosh, it's pretty. Whatever is pretty. Oh! <coughs> Choked myself on my own gasp. Oh my goodness, look at this. I have heard of this. Of course I've heard of it, you know, um, but I haven't got it. I haven't read it. So I'm absolutely over the moon with this. Oh my gosh, how thoughtful is this? Um, so you can see, if you've not heard of it, you can have a little look here. 
have a look at the story on the back there. But yeah, I have heard of this book. Um, of course I have. Not only because, you know, if you're a book reader, you know that you've heard of a lot of the, the best-known books, especially like best-selling books. Um, but also because uh, it's called this. And I pay attention to things like that that are called that. Oh, this is fabulous. I'm so pleased with that. That is so lovely of you. Thank you so much. If you're watching me, thank you so, so, so much. That's gorgeous. So, oh, I mean, and well worth the wait, wasn't it? It was bursting to... Oh, oh, you nearly went then. Oh, I nearly threw you all on the floor. You just smashed onto the table. I'm going to set... Let me move my paper. Well worth the wait. I was dying to open that. Oh, that's gorgeous. What a fabulous package. So I've received those things there. I'm going to pop those to one side for a moment. I then had... Oh, gosh. Some of you were thinking of me at Christmas. And I was like, oh, my God, you're so nice. Let me go in. So... I had this look, beautiful handmade card, which I love, nice and embossed, beautiful colours. Uh, and this was from Sharon. Again, Sharon joins in with um, Bring Back Paper. She joined in. She, uh, Sharon, if you're watching, how many years do you think that you've um, been part of the Bring Back Paper community? I feel like it's I feel like it's forever, Sharon. I feel like it's forever. You let me know. Um but yet, uh, Sharon uh, is uh, one of my Patreon members as well. I write to her each month, which I love to do. That's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Uh, I then had this card, which I thought, oh, look at this. This is from Joyce, again, part of the Bring Back Paper community. I mean, you all are. You all are. You all, That's how you've all found me and sent stuff on to me. And I, it's hugely appreciated. But look at this. This is like, she's painted it. So this is Joyce. With dogs, which Joyce will always be with dogs, won't you, Joyce, if you're watching? So it makes sense. She's with dogs. And look, it's a Christmas one. It's got the trees. Uh, and they're wishing us um, a lovely holiday season. So much appreciated. That is so nice. I love this card. Uh, Koei gets the biggest present, of course, as it should be. I love that. That is so sweet. Um, it's a beautiful oh gosh to have that talent to have that talent to create that thank you Joyce thanks so much I love it and thanks for thinking of me uh I then had I've had this postcard so Erin thank you uh Erin sends me postcards from time to time uh, and as she's put on here she's really been writing more postcards than letters because she thinks it's more of a challenge to decorate a small space uh, and still leave room for the message. Erin is like um, my postcard inspiration lately. If you've seen some of my other, other videos, um, you'll see that she sent me some of the postcards. Uh, and I love the way that she's decorating them all. Because I don't generally, I do now. Um, but generally speaking, before, I would just sort of write a, a message and um, the address on there. But now, look at all this. I do like that she's taken this as a challenge, as like trying to... Um, see whether she can decorate a small space. I love that. Obviously, the stamps are under here as well, under the sticker. Um, but it's so pretty. I like these little down the side. They're lovely, aren't they? And these little stickers are gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, Erin. Thanks so much. Uh, I then had this letter. Um, I'll just show you the envelope. So the envelope is fab as well. Uh, so this is from Carolyn. Now, you could probably guess where she's from with the little stickers and things. So again, um, I know Carolyn watches my videos, so I'm hoping she's watching this today um, and uh, often comments on them. Uh, and again, part of the Bring Back the Paper community for a long time, I would say, several years. Uh, and she's taken the time to send me this letter with a super pretty envelope on it. Uh, and look, let me go inside. Doo -doo -doo. Look at this. I mean, it's like the most Australian, in, to, to my mind, to us up here in the Northern Hemisphere in England, this is like super Australian, this is. Um, beautiful handmade card. I like this. It's like um, it's like a Hessian thing, isn't it? They made Christmas on. Um, so lovely Christmas wishes in here. She's also sent, hang on, let me just... <laughs> which I can use as like a clip you know I'm going to say I can use it as a bookmark of course I'm going to say that 
Um, Sarah, I'll be using... I've got a couple of Christmassy bookmarks that I like to use for my Christmassy reads. So I think I'm going to be leaving that one out ready for next year. And then she sent me a lovely letter here. And she was talking to me about um, a blog post that she read of mine recently. Uh, and I really appreciate that um, she took the time to then... That kind of uh, made her want to write to me about it. And, uh, I mean, that's fabulous. To be able to write something that resonates with someone so much that they're like, actually, I'm just going to write about that. Really appreciated it. Um, and, yes, the letter did make me tear up a little bit because uh, it was so sweet. Uh, so thank you for that, Carolyn. And look how cute is that? So... Thank you. Loved hearing uh, a little bit about your family as well, as I had been sharing about mine in my blog post. Um, I can't remember what the blog post is called, actually, if you wanted to have a look. I think it's something like, if you search it, it's quite relatively recent. I think it will be something like... Now you were 13 and 10, I think it was called. It was certainly about the kids being 13 and 10. How are they 13 and 10? They were only just born. Uh, right, so thank you. Thank you so much for that. I, I adore it and um, for the lovely words inside. Thank you very much. And then finally, I've had this from Lynn, who is also part of the Bring Back Paper. You knew I was going to say that. Also part of the Bring Back Paper community. Uh, one of my patrons as well, joins in with some of the activities. Uh, and she's popped on here. I hope this little bit of... Uh, happy mail makes you happier today it's sure memory day is happy putting it together for you and you know what this is so true this is one of the reasons that i love happy mail of course this made me happy all of these things that i've been fortunate enough to receive recently have made me happy any happy mail is going to make you smile isn't it um particularly i mean today here oh gosh it was so dark this morning uh this is i'm filming this on uh what they're calling blue monday it's very cold I was just about to take Herbie for a walk and it started raining. Herbie, by the way, does not walk in the rain. Oh, no. Uh, and I just thought, oh. And then when you've got a happy mail, it just brightens a day, particularly a January day. But also, as Lynn's put on there, it does brighten your day putting it together. So you don't necessarily have to have those days where you're waiting for the happy mail to cheer you up. You could be sending a little bit of happy mail each day, brightens your day that way, because you know that when it's um, been sent out and being received, it's really going to make someone smile. Um, it's a big part of uh, why Bring Back Paper started, really, the idea of making people smile more uh, and enjoying slowing down and relaxing with paper. So I love that sentiment. Uh, and then she's given me a lovely little list here uh, of papery things I like doing. So as you can see, making bookmarks out of card front cereal boxes, making envelopes out of calendar pictures, food packaging, scrapbook papers, and then things I like sending as well in for mail. So you can see there's lots of different ideas down here. Um, and she's, as I will show you in a moment, she sent me quite a few of these things here. Uh, I've also, if you're interested, I have got a blog post, actually, things that you can send. I think something like 65 things you can send in mail. So you, in, if you're reading that and thinking, oh, yeah, it's a good idea, that's a good idea. They are all, all good ideas. Thanks, Lynn. Um, you can then go over and see some more of those. Remove those and look, look at all of these things. Now, hang on a sec. If I just... This was, they came in this lovely envelope, which I also wanted to show you. I've just popped them out there so I can show you them more easily. Um, with gorgeous stamps on them. And look at that. I love the way that um, she's done my name and address. And it's all, it's like a, you know, like a cardboard keeping things flat type of envelope. Uh, and it's all been decorated so beautifully. All nice and um, winter themed. And also on the back as well so true woo -hoo! uh and let it snow wash it. i like that washi tape i like them all actually they're all cute aren't they there's tons of lovely blue wintry theme washi tape i love it thank you lynn now let me just whoop, move back so you can see it so in here look at all of this uh i have a drink a tea uh some Plaster, the plasters, the band-aids, I think. Are they band-aids in America? I'm sure, sure you'll let me know. Is it sound here, band-aids? Uh, but they're, they're plasters. We call them plasters here, as you can see. Got little pictures on them. I don't know whether you can see that. 
I'm looking forward to using them so I can discover what the pictures are. Uh, I then got a couple of little bags, a lot of cutouts. I mean, they're great, aren't they? I like these. Oh, I like, they're like little, um, remind me of hives. I don't know if they're supposed to be hives. And then these Christmassy ones, look, a little penguin and a reindeer and a snowman in there. Oh, look, they've even got little, little twiggy arms. I had those. Then got these nice cards, like cooking cards. Um, and she, uh, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but Lina put on here, she likes to send blank or filled out recipe cards, which I think are fab. I have a few of those as well. Um, she's then put, um, I love this printable set, really colorful. Uh, I've seen this set, which I printed on photo paper for a little bit of um, gloss, uh, mounted on cardstock and bound together with a binder ring. For a super cute mini album so i'm going to let me just delve a little further so we can have a look at this more closely it is nice though isn't it i'm already thinking oh look look at all the bookmarks look at these they do look good as well you're so right then on like glossy paper and oh i'm thinking i need to get myself some glossy paper because it does kind of elevate them doesn't it Look at all these. I mean, these will be absolutely fine. I will use these um, rather than as a mini album. I will use these with mail, definitely. I will use these as um, in some mail to decorate it, to theme it, and then to pop a few, a few into the envelope for my pen pals as well. But look, aren't they fab? I do love that printable set. That is so thoughtful. Thank you, and taking the time to send that out to me. Ooh. Ooh, put it back in. I want to keep it all in there safely. Ooh, ooh. Yep. Then all these little bits on them as well. Uh, then all of these, look. Stickers. And they are lovely. I love those. I love these kind of little quotey things. Again, great for um, Happy Mail. This little uh, lists, little busy to-do lists that I have there um, and then it's lots of different papers and I love if you've watched any of my um, pen pal or like mail art type of videos you'll see that I love using things like this decorating envelopes such a such an easy super cute way of instantly um, lifting an envelope so um, a little bit I, I, I suppose a little bit although Lynn's done a much better job than I it's beautiful a little bit like Lynn's done here instead of sending this cardboard envelope if I were to send like a white envelope I could then just cut this for example pop it on write the address on it and it's instantly just looks cuter you know as it's me I'll probably also put washi tape on it of course I will uh, but there's loads of these. Look at all of these. I love getting lots of different types of paper that I can use for that. It's so cute to decorate things. There's tons of them, tons. I've been spoilt here. Look, hang on. This is this one, which I love. See, some of the bigger ones as well, um, sometimes I will use as, um, like, as writing paper. Because I can use that. Blank. Loads of them. So to me, these are all writing paper and decorating things. And then look at this. She has gone to the trouble of printing me uh, address labels for my uh, PO box address here. Um, so that is, I mean, that is so thoughtful um, and such a great idea. I love getting, a, I love having address labels because you use them all the time, don't you? And you're always mailing stuff out. So I love those. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lynn. Uh, and then finally at the bottom is this paper which look at it it's so cute isn't it all Christmassy themed so I'm going to be popping that into my writing box and using that next um December and you know what oh tell me in comments if the, if you feel like this too now that I'm old I mean I'm old I'm 45 that's old isn't it now that I'm older we'll say the the months do go by so quickly so i'm thinking yeah it's january it'd be a while to use this it won't be a while you'll see me on this video in no time at all and i'll be getting this writing paper and writing and you'll be like oh i feel like i've only just seen you use that yes time goes quickly now super super quickly it was just summer i was just in paris 
and now it's not and I've, Christmas has happened and it's January and I'm starting to think about this summer well I'm starting to dream about this summer I love summer right I'm sorry I'm rambling rambling thank you so much Lynn what a package what a treat all of these things and I can imagine yeah I'd be exactly the same uh, as Lynn as she said on there if you're putting together a package like that, it's just so exciting um, to send it. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for all of these things. Uh, thank you, Carolyn. It was lovely to hear your thoughts, um, particularly on the blog post. And also, um, I know that you've appreciated being part of the, the community and pen pals, things like that. Always, always the post. Erin basically makes me just want to up my postcard game. She also makes me want to just go, when I finish this video and uploaded it for you guys to watch in a couple of days, to go and write some postcards because they're fabulous. I mean, Joyce, the fact that she stopped and thought about me at Christmas, thank you so much. But I mean, look at that. The talent. I basically have got Joyce there on a card. Thank you so much, Sharon. I love writing to Sharon every month. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you again for thinking of me at Christmas. Um, and then all these goodies as well. Card and these lovely papery bits. I mean, and oh my gosh, it is a book that I had seen and had my eye on. So, and if she's saying that's her favourite book, I'm kind of saying I just want to dive in and I know I've got loads of books on my shelves, as you know I will. Maybe I should do, let me know if you want a bookish video soon, showing you my... Um, uh, to be red pile, I mean, to be red pile stroke, to be red bookcase. Um, but I do want to dive into that, I have her great thing, so thank you. What a treat. I have been spoilt. Thank you, everybody. Um, it's really, really, really appreciated. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching everything. Um, if you've mailed these to me, thank you so, so much. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing it here. Um on the video this week uh, and I hope everybody has enjoyed watching thank you if you wanted to mail me I do do incoming videos every few weeks whenever I've got a batch of mail really um, the details I mean you've seen the address probably on these but the, the, I'll pop the details below for you uh, you could feature on here as well soon um, and thanks thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it please do give me a thumbs up if you did I'd love to hear your thoughts in comments on everything that I've had here um and i'll see you next week bye everyone